Cyberpunk 2077 is kind of a big deal, which is an impressive thing considering most people in the world have only seen two trailers for it. Despite this, there's no denying that it's the most exciting thing since, well, The Witcher, and everybody wants to know more. While you may not have been lucky enough to see the secret presentation at E3, it is easy to learn much more about the Cyberpunk universe. 2077 is based on Cyberpunk 2020, the pen and paper RPG that has been around since the 1980s. It's a world full of incredible places, people and technology. Some of it's pretty crazy, too. In fact, here are five crazy things from the world of Cyberpunk 2077 to get you started. Cyberpunk 2077 will feature three playable classes, Solo, Techie and Netrunner. But the tabletop game features another six, and these will be present as NPCs in the video game. Among the nine roles in Cyberpunk's core rulebook is one that you won't find in any regular RPG, Rocker Boys. These rebel musicians fight authority with three chords and the truth. Yes, for once the emphasis is not solely on the cyber part of cyberpunk. The tabletop game carries the anarchic musical spirit of 1977 and it's needed more than ever in the age of the Megacorp. The special ability of the Rocker Boy is charismatic leadership, but like some of their forebears, they excel at brawling too. One of the setting's most famous characters is Johnny Silverhand, a singer and guitarist with a silver chrome cyber limb arm. The fiction even names his most beloved songs, such as Never Fade Away, and his music will form some of the in-universe soundtrack for the video game. You know Never Fade Away, right? Never fade away, Dad. Uh, yeah, it turns out I don't either. Subdermal armor and skull sonar might appear more immediately useful, but it is the stranger body implants available in the cyberpunk universe that distinguish it from the likes of Deus Ex. Among those is the Audivox system, which allows you to control your own vocal tone as if you'd swallowed the Garage Band app. Loudspeaker volumes are included for the attention seeking, while vocal delay programming introduces the alluring possibility of duetting with yourself. Special effects include reverb, tremolo, sustain, and choral voices, aka everything you need to perform Take That's Never Forget in the middle of a neon soaked street. Whether or not you draw the attention of a psycho squad is your own lookout. Night City, the Northern Californian metropolis where Cyberpunk 2077 takes place, is a locale where life can be digitally replicated or extended far beyond its natural limit. But the human body is still vulnerable, and the tabletop game's rules have long emphasised a realistic approach to death. No matter how important you might be, or think you might be, one bullet in the wrong place will kill you. We know that this won't be the case in Cyberpunk 2077. Because the game's combat is rooted in an RPG system governed by stats, you won't be scoring single-shot kills. But knowing CD Projekt Red, there will surely be more to it than Borderlands-style number explosions. Battles may well require forward planning, in the same way that Geralt's alchemy skills were vital to taking down monsters in The Witcher. We do know that combat enhancement drugs are prolific in Night City, after all. When Kanye West warned don't let me get in my zone, it's possible he was referring to the Night City custom of zone dance. This special boogie is a game of social dominance, in which the victor extends their influence over the dance floor through charisma, ability, intimidation or violence. The aim of the game is to persuade as many other dancers as possible to conform to your movements and groove to your tune. Easier said than done when many people will be listening to completely different music through cyber audio wearman implants. Hopefully Zone Dance will be present as a mini-game or side quest in the nightlife regions of Cyberpunk's world. One of Cyberpunk's best-known characters lived in a fridge. Well, not really a fridge, but basically a fridge. Raish Bartmoss lived in a cryogenic freezer disguised to look like a fridge, but it would probably keep your milk fresh all the same. Bartmoss was a supremely talented hacker, but like many in his trade, he was not so meticulous and careful when it came to looking after himself. Surfing the net too long left him dehydrated and malnourished, and in 2021 his body finally gave up. Too much YouTube will do that to you. His work, however, went on, thanks to the finest life support available. This hacker's paranoia was as great as his ability, and so nobody ever knew the location of the fridge he spent his days deteriorating inside. It is known, however, that his apartment was vaporised by a mass driver cannon at the beginning of the Fourth Corporate War, and all of the white goods went with it. As such, even if the option is there in Cyberpunk 2077, we'll probably not try and hide from our enemies in a fridge. And there they are, the five craziest things in the Cyberpunk universe. Of course, there's plenty more strange and bizarre things to discover, so why not head over to PCGamesN.com and read more about the tabletop game's amazing lore. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and hit the bell for more brilliant PC gaming videos. 
But until next time, get yourself a sweet implant installed, good luck and have fun.